Shout out to Marco Pajana, Alfredo Jr. and the Gaming Squad for being a part of our channel memberships and all our channel members. Welcome back Gaming with King family to another F1 Clash video. In today's video, we're going to be going uh, into Series 10 uh, for how to win Series 10 series. Uh, here we are at Series 10. Uh, so series 10 is where it's starting to be a possibility of 11 different tracks uh, some it's a mixture of eight laps nine laps and uh, seven lap races i'm not sure if the spa is in there which is the six lap race uh, but from what we can see it's mostly eight laps seven laps and nine laps yes the spa is in there there it is right there so series uh 10 is where you're going to see a set of five, uh, 11 possible tracks uh, throughout uh, the game, uh, all jammed into series 10. All right, but before we jump into the video, remember to subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notifications, and also leave a like on this video. Really appreciate you guys for all your support. All right, so for our drivers for series 10, uh, as you know, we uh, made a video yesterday on how to select your best drivers. So we're going to be selecting our best drivers, which is going to be Verstappen and uh, Charles Leclerc. Now we have been testing level 7 Russell against our drivers to see if he's better or not. But at this point, our drivers are currently better. And we're using our fast pit time tune. I uh, was testing the power plant in there. Uh, but let's jump back down to the impulse uh, to give us that full pit time effect of 2.50. All right, uh, let's jump into these races. We're going to be doing uh, two races uh, just to show off Series 10. As you know, you've already been through all these tracks uh, for throughout the series coming up. Uh, so Series 10 should be just another series uh, with mixtures of all those tracks. All right, so the key ingredient to, for you to beat Series 10 is to have your fast bit time. To the lowest possible you can get it at and to have your best drivers all the other things will just fall into place all right so we're going to go on russia here we're going to be going with that split strategy uh, for russia and go one uh, one driver on soft tires and the other driver on hard tires so we're going to go for one driver three two three with hard tires at the end and for the second driver we're going to go four two two all right, so this technique is really great for most eight lap races. As long as you're getting three, two to three laps uh, on that track, and this technique is really, really good for that track. All right, so we're starting off with a boost. Let's see if Leclerc can hold that inside. There goes the opening for Verstappen. A little late. If that back car did just move out the way a little earlier, Verstappen would have taken all of that inside. Uh, good overtaking from more guys. Now we're going to cut them down right after this corner here. Let's see if they pick up any positions. Verstappen struggling to pick up that one, so we're going to keep the boost on him. Now we can cut him down, and we'll cut down Verstappen. I think that was Leclerc that's on softs, and Verstappen is on hards. All right, so now we're going to be going to conserve. We're basically going to be conserving for three laps with Leclerc, then we're going to come back to... A fresh pair of soft tires boost for two laps come back to hard tires and boost to the finish as for verstappen we're gonna go for four laps and then come back to soft tires boost for two laps come back to soft tires and boost to the finish all right so the key in racing on these tracks are that fast pit time as long as you can get your pit time down to the lowest possible pit time you can get at your level then that's all you need with your best drivers using the technique that I shared in how to select your best driver and you should be good all right so one more lap to go the clear has a little extra tire management so we're gonna use a little fuel here on both our drivers to boost by the pit, see if we can pick up any positions. Alright, let's cut down the clear there and then we're going to bring him back to pit and let's cut down 
Verstappen there. Nice driving from Verstappen to pick up that position, getting him back into 14th place. Here is the rival all the way around here. There, uh, Leclerc looking good, 19% of tires. We're gonna let him continue to conserve straight into pit to those soft tires, and then we can boost him from there for his boost stench. All right, our stint, his boost stint, not stench. <laughs> all right. All right, here comes the clear now. Going in really slow as the rival. Look at that, slow as the rival. The AI car is going in slow. Let's boost him up. See if we can get him in a little faster. Verstappen way out there. The clear coming back out now in 18 uh, on his boost phase. He got 18. Nah, he's in 19. All right, so Verstappen. We're going to boost him, wait up for him to re hit that straight away. Then we're going to boost him into pit. Let's do it from there. He has the tire management to do so while Leclerc tries to catch up. The rival is way in the back in 22. All right, so Leclerc pulling up to the inside there. Still a good amount of tires on our car. So Verstappen can go in. I hate it when they slow completely down like that to enter into the pit when they can go in. Uh, at maximum speed of 80 kilometers and that slow is not even 80 kilometers not even 60 kilometers uh, when you see them slowing up like that it's like they're on 20 or 30 kilometers going into the pits all right they can go in much faster if the pit lane is clear going in you'll see all right let's see the clear is going to go to pin now let's see if the pit lane is going to be clear and you're going to see the speed that he's going to go through it when he goes into the pits. If the lane is clear, if if there's cars going to pit, then he's going to slow down. Yep, there's cars going to pit, so he's going to go in there slowly. He slowed right down. <laughs> All right, so let's put in our go to pit orders for... That first stop in there, and Leclerc is in and out back in 16th place. So, looking beautiful. Verstappen made his way up to fifth place so far, uh, about to go to pit while well, Leclerc is doing pretty well for himself in the back here. 16 holding down the fort pushing as the rival Leclerc seems to have suffered a breakdown yes he have getting there Verstappen let's see if he can get out before Hamilton nice he does and that's where the fast bit time comes into play and he's up in third place and here comes Leclerc you can, did you guys see Leclerc slowing down as that car was going into the pits the game AI or the game system definitely needs a second look uh, as the gameplay drivability is a little bit off right now a lot of players have been complaining a lot uh, but it is off so I can't too blame them Though we have good strategies, and I like not, to, I try not to complain too much. I just adapt with new techniques or finding a different way to get the results that I want. All right, so this race is definitely in the bag from there. Verstappen first place, Leclerc in 11th place. Verstappen boosting across the line. There is. There's Leclerc now cruises in. Thirty-eight points. There is there. All right, let's do another race and see what kind of track we get. 
as I previously stated, is its level 11 possible tracks up here in Series 10. Alright, so we went up against Hamilton level 4, nice. So I get a chance now to compare, compare a Hamilton level 4 uh, with my level 4 Verstappen and level 4 Leclerc. Alright, so as you can see, Hamilton has more defense and consistency. However, he's losing in the fuel, overtaking, and tire management. Alright. Let's jump into the next race. So if I went if when when I upgrade my Hamilton to level four, I'm still gonna be using Leclerc and Verstappen over Hamilton. Let's jump into this next race. Make sure you stick around for the second video of today as we're going to be uh, talking about how to get the most value for your bucks uh, in the game. What's the best way to use your bucks uh, to get the most out of them? And then we're going to talk about easier ways uh, that you can use your bucks to get value, but not the most value, but you're still getting some value uh, out of them. All right. All right. So Alonzo and Russell. Out qualifying us here I'm keen to see what the witness ability on this rival Alonzo and Russell is hence why he out qualified us starting off with the boost as usual all right so for Silverstone on a full wet race uh, if your drivers are not able to do are not able to do four laps so if your drivers are not able to do four laps on wet you want to do the three two two technique uh, but your pit time at this stage will be pretty uh, low should be pretty decent and low so to do a two-stop technique is going to be really easy all right however if your pit time is not as nice and low, probably not down to three seconds or four seconds at this point. It should be down to about three point something seconds at this point or four seconds. And then you can go for the two stop. But if not, then you can go for the one stop. All right. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to be doing the two stop with Verstappen just to show you guys the two stop. And we're going to be doing the one stop with Leclerc. All right. So this is just to show you guys, you can use any of these techniques with both your drivers. You can go for the one stop uh, that I'm going to be using with Leclerc, which is going to be going to for four laps and then come back to pit and boost to the finish on the last three laps. And then we're going to go three, two, two with Verstappen. Uh, so you can use any of these techniques as you please. All right. Let's boost up, use some boost here and pick up those that are in the pits. So we can get by them before they come out. They can come out right behind us and block up the rival. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so they didn't come out right behind to block up the rival. Uh, but Verstappen is in the back and we're going to go to pit with him early. Alright, so he's going to go to pit in the third lap, which is now. So we should boost him from there. Pretty near go to pit orders to go to soft tires. To wet tires, I should say. Nice overtaking there from Verstappen. And Leclerc is going to go around for another lap. Let's see if he can get block, get block. Nice block there by that number eight on the rival. Exactly what we wanted. Leaving uh, Leclerc to get out. Now to put in our go to pit orders with our Leclerc. And we're now in our boost phase with our Verstappen. Should have gone to the inside there, Verstappen. Don't know what he was thinking. Cut down there and boost him back up. So he can get full control of his car. Don't want him to get stuck behind any car. And just follow. We want him to be attacking like he's doing there. Let's boost in Leclerc. 
As we push around at Verstappen, see if we can pick up any more positions. Nice. Go, 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 Leclerc. Go, we did not, yeah, we did get blocked. Was hoping we didn't get blocked in there, but we did. All right, so we're gonna go back to pit with Verstappen here for another pair of wet tires, and then we're gonna boost the finish. And Leclerc is just gonna be boosting to the finish from here. The rival Alonso will have to go back to pit in the next lap. Also, his Russell will have to go back to pit because they miss pit here. So he'll have to go back to pit in this lap, and that's where we're gonna get the jump on him when he goes back to pit. His Alonso has a pretty decent lead, uh, has created a pretty decent distance for himself, so he should get in and out free. Uh, but this Russell here, it's not going to get in and out that freely. And so there goes Alonzo and Pitts. It should give us some time to catch up. And we should get, get by some of those. Alright, so he's back out. And let's go over Stappen. We need you back behind that 7 car. Nice. And let's go Leclerc. Nice block. What a block there from that number 14. Now for Leclerc to pick up this position. Yes. Nice. Now we're just boosting to the finish. Alright, so if we can pick up one more position with each with boat drivers, then that's it for the race. We should get the win. Whenever Stefan is out, so he's not gonna pick up any position. And Leclerc is about to run out of tires, so we're going to cut him down. So we don't lose the position, then we boost him back up. Come on, hold him, hold him, hold him. Ah, almost. Alright, block that one. At least we got that final block. And that still gives us the win. Great race there. So that's the two techniques for the 7 lap race on Silverstone that you can use. Uh, to get some wins all right all right so let's look so verstappen did have a higher wetness ability than both drivers uh, but in the end they qualified ahead of us all right so it is what it is and that's going to be it for this one uh leave code word mega deals down below to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video really appreciate you guys for all your support and that's going to be it for this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.